Welcome to the Keeping It Broad podcast, the show that explores the fascinating world of home improvement and renovation. Join hosts James Carlosi, Tim Pesh, and Mark DeLucia as they share their expertise and insights on the latest trends, products, and their involvement in the industry and community. Let's get into this week's episode. Welcome to Keeping It Broad, the official podcast of South Broad Paint Home Center and the South Broad Kitchen and Bath Showroom. I am here with Mark. It's a couple Marks. Mark DeLucia. Mark, say hey. Hey. And we have Mark O'Shea of O'Shea Painting. What is up, Mark? Hello. Hello. Welcome, Mark. Welcome, Mark. Thanks for having me. Uh, Mark, our friendship goes pretty far back, I would say. Way, way in the beginning. Uh, about three years ago, you came in here looking for stain. And uh, and that's when our relationship started, right? Blossomed from there. Yeah, what was it? Sickens? It was Sickens, and we probably ran out, and then we had to give you a flood or something. I don't know whatever it was. <laughs> uh, no, Sickens Stain. Oh, it was a specialty wood in West Hartford. And oh, yeah. I popped in here. I think yes. I talked to Mark first. Uh, yeah, you yeah, did. you did. Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. Guys probably talked music and other vices. Yep. <laughs> yep. We did talk music for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And the Mad Dog. Mark, oh, Mark, likes Mark mad loves dog. Mad Dog. Mad Dog Mark. Mad Dog Mark. <laughs> that's this guy here. <laughs> mad Dog Mark. Yes. Good stuff. It is good stuff. Mark, how long have you been painting? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I have to go see. I'm going to put. Keep talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You got a customer coming in. That's important. Yeah, go ahead, Mark. Mark, uh, how long have you been in the business? I've been painting since I was about. 13 my dad was a general contractor out of new york yep. uh put me to work fairly early did every trade uh figured i couldn't do any damage with a paintbrush so <laughs> he put i have a twin brother so we uh he put us on the uh put us on the the painting part yeah. of the business when we were young 13 yeah, yeah, yeah. 14 just doing small little things yeah then he would get us houses in the summers and uh yeah so it went went from there so what 40 years no, not 40 years. No, not 40 years. 30, 30 years. years. 30 years. 30 years. And have how long have you been on your own? Been on my own since the late late 2017, early 2018. Okay. Broke out on my own. Okay. Well, five plus years. Well, about six years. Right. Six years. And you're based out of Cheshire, but you do work all over Cheshire, Wallingford, West yeah. Hartford. Yes. All over the, pretty much all over the place. Interiors, exteriors, everything. Yeah, like commercial, but most mostly residential repaints, new construction. You do a lot of new construction, so speak to that for a minute. So, so it's funny because we we uh, we um, recently um, had Kimberly here, one of our uh, realtor friends, and um, she was talking about the market a little bit. And I mean, how many new homes? If you had to put a number in it, how many new homes, new construction homes, you painted just this year, or like you have in the queue, a ton, right? In the queue right now, I'm on a project up in Granby, 24 new construction homes. 24 new construction homes just in Granby. Just in Granby. Um, Cheshire, the builder I work for in Cheshire. Um, Ricky Construction. Yep, um, a little shout out. We, we do about, uh, we average two a year. So yeah, um, there's a lot of new construction going on. It's It's been bananas. Every time you I, I, I talk to you, it's just, it's, it's crazy how much new building is happening. I don't know where all this land is coming from, but for whatever reason, it's it's happening. Um, and you've, like I said, you've done a little bit of, of light commercial a little bit. We did work at Hartford Seminary. Remember we did that? We yes, did that We did yes. that project. Uh, our buddy uh, Andy up there. Um, and you've you've used a couple of our products. So um, 2010, you've used semi-gloss. Love it. Love it. Self-priming. That's my go-to uh exterior, exterior semi gloss exterior trim paint yep and we've used it a couple times on the body the low luster yes so yep. i did my house with it it's awesome um you've done uh flood. sickens oh uh, well yeah have you done flood flood yeah you like nice flood. house up on jenny hill road jenny hill road jenny hill road don't give the address we don't people driving by and taking pictures okay <laughs> uh, we don't want, we don't want that because this the you know, let's say four or five million people watch this. We don't. We don't need. We don't need to are have up, it. Are we up to that many? Well, that many this, this is gonna. This is gonna. This is gonna push us over the edge for how, sure. How much? How much? Uh, how much interest is in the, the painting biz? 
It really is something. <laughs> it really is something. Um, I know we're sitting here talking about painting. Do you, what, t- tell me your favorite trim paint. Um, but but the business has been good to you, and you like the business. I, and I, I think there's probably is something to that, right? I mean, you you know, it's there's a reason why you're doing it. There has to be. Yeah. <laughs> Other than just paying the bills. No, it's. Um, You've got a level of enjoyment out of this, I imagine. Because you get to see a job complete, and I, I guess that's a fulfilling yeah. part of the business. Yep. Um, yep. I'm somewhere new every day, yep. basically, so I don't sit at the same place yeah. too often. I get to work outside in the summer, get to go inside in the winter. Yep. And it's, you know, you've been doing it for so long, it's second nature. It's, you know, you have good guys work with you, it's, it's just fun to do and get up in, in the morning and go to work. But it's not without its challenges. Right, you and I talk almost every day, multiple multiple times a day, and you know there there's struggles whether it's you know maybe 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 we're out of a product, or maybe something's going on at a job site or 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 something, and and you know we have to deal with hiccups, but um, we we were able to. It's not about avoiding issues; it's how you resolve issues and problems, and um, and I think we've been able to to work together to mitigate a lot of that. Um, yeah, when we first met, the, like the COVID product shutdown, that was all kicking into full gear and we've sort of come out of that um at least a little bit so. yeah we stayed busy during covid yeah the, it was just uh you guys stayed pretty relevant and, dude you know i could get products here um yeah. could get products elsewhere you kind of get products from certain other places but um we worked through it if O'Shea Painting was doing a job in, oh, I don't know, West Hartford or Granby, would South Broad deliver that to you, or would South Broad have to make you come all the way down to the store to pick it up? You, I don't remember. You delivered. Oh, that's to right. Me out there before, that's right. Even if it was one gallon of paint. That's right. I, well, don't tell James that. <laughs> I got to make a delivery to Mark. Hang on, and then you know. But I've gotten pretty pretty good at knowing when I'm going to be out there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooting over here yeah. before I get out there, and I have yeah. one of my guys that lives in Wallingford. I can shoot over here in the morning oh, yeah you know, yeah maybe yeah. you guys should open at seven instead of well, seven no that's not why we brought you here today <laughs> <laughs> so you can put that into the suggestion box it's right behind you next to the recycling yeah, container yes, yes. um and and where do you i mean you're you're booked out i mean you're still taking new customers right you, you always you know we we recommend your name but and you know it's people can contact you and reach out to you if there's stuff that still has to happen right Oh, we got an we got an off camera question. Yes, go ahead. Here, hop in. Ask a question. How long does a project take? Well, let's say. All right, Mark O'Shea, that's a great one. So, so all right, Mark O'Shea. Uh, my name is Tim, and you know what? I'd like to paint my living room, kitchen, and hallway. Let's say you have availability a month from now. When? How long do I expect to be out of my you know living room, kitchen setup? Get, walk me through that process. People are dying to hear. It. So. The way I do things is I'll, I'll break down the job, and I'm not going to take over those three rooms right away. Yep. I'm not going to set up a whole house. Um, I would say, you know, a good average-sized kitchen, what, living room, you said, and hallway? Yeah, living room or hallway. Give yeah. me, like, three like three three days to, to set up, break down, get everything painted, everything cleaned up. But yep. We just, we'll go room by room. Uh, you know, we'll start in the, the room where... A lot of time we'll have the customer help us clean it out or we'll get everything in yeah. the middle and uh yeah. you yeah. know an average what you just described probably take about three days nice no nice in that's actually in, yeah. in and out of a house you know i try to disrupt the life as least as possible when we're when we're doing projects like that so so within a business week within a business week, you'll a business do week yeah you know if there's if there's specialty trim if there's decorative trim uh you know at at a day yeah or, or two to that but I can get in and out of a house in usually a week. Ceiling walls and trim? Ceiling walls and trim. My man, pots and pans. Makes Mark O'Shea and O'Shea painting different than all the rest, Mark, without without naming all the rest. I think we've <laughs> saw, well, ever since COVID, everybody wanted to pick up a paintbrush and just start working. Uh, yeah. We're a little bit more detail-oriented, um, and maybe that's why I yeah. am so busy. Basically treat somebody's house like it's my house, so... You know, one of the reasons people pick a contractor versus not uh, versus one versus the other is just follow up. Yeah. You yeah, know, it's right. Communications key. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to call everybody back within a day when I when I get wow. a phone call. I don't want to leave people hanging, but sometimes, you know, messages get buried. But and that's what a lot of people tell me, like, you got back to me. Yeah. 
I've called seven painters. You're the only one that's gotten back to that's me. You're it. the only one that's going to come out here. Yeah. Um, deliver the estimate when you say you're going to deliver the estimate. That's, well, that's key. Well, that's a good question. We talk about estimate too. So like, so, I mean, obviously we're, we can't, we can't quote anything here on our fabulous uh, podcast, but you know, I'm sure you see quotes. If you meet with a customer, you probably see numbers all over the place. Say, Hey, listen, use the reference example we just did, you know, living room, hallway, kitchen. I'm sure you run into competition that pricing could be all over the board. Right. Oh, and definitely. Yeah. 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 From, you know, 30% less to 50% more or whatever. Yeah. It's a lot of time. Look, a lot of times we're looking at people that are a lot less than us. Y- yep. Um, sure. Hungry for work or just trying to, a lot of the guys that low, low bid are just trying to pay their bills. Yeah. Not for profit guys, you know, yeah. not trying to make a profit. They're just trying to survive. So. Yeah. And how many, like, what size crew do you, are you up to, are you a four-man crew, three-man, what do you, I mean? Yeah, I'm a four-man crew. Yep. Plus myself. Um, yep. I just, pretty much the runner these days to get everything set up. But you're on every job site. I'm on every job site, at least yep. to, you know, communicating with the homeowner. Yeah. Right, when we start throughout the job. Yeah. Uh, color consultation. If anything arises, they want color changes. If they want to add more work. So, I have to be on every job, at least you know, once a day. I'm Mark Patrick O'Shea. Mark, how can uh, somebody contact you if they're looking to have something painted at their home? Um, they can call me. Yep. 860-830-6679. We'll put that on the screen. Say that again. Give them the number again. 860-830-6679. And do you have a website or a social media like we do? I do have a social media. Um, it's just my O'Shea painting. Perfect. That face On Facebook. No website. I'm working on that one. But... Uh, stayed pretty busy without uh, a website so you could also come in down and check us out at south Broad Payne home center and we will happily give you one of mark O'Shea's cards and uh we'll see that uh we'll see that we can connect you guys together for my uh my my colleague and my friend uh mark O'Shea. and mark you're a good brother i i i, I i've appreciated your your friendship uh over the years and um i am tim Pache. Thanks for hanging out with us today and uh, call Mark (laughs) later. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.